Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and Out of Wonder. Um, so I'm doing a comparison of Papermate Flares with the Optimus Felt Tip Pens. I picked them up both on Amazon. Um, and I got the idea from Cindy over at Llama Letters because she just did kind of a Optimus Are They Good for Budget. I am a teacher, so I use flare pens a lot on essays, daily work. Um, they're just really quick and they leave clean feedback for students. And so I found that I like writing with them. Kids like reading them. Um, the colors are kind of fun. And with English, I like to get away from using just a red pen um, <laughs> because sometimes I can, they don't want to read that. Like it pulls them away from just the feedback. So um, Optimus, this is what they look like. Out of the box, um, I actually love the way that they divided them by like the brighter jewel tones and then the softer pastels and neutrals. I think they were really pretty. Um, but of course, I just wanted to see how they wrote. I was used to using, or I'm used to using Papermate flares, and I've been using them for a long time. <laughs> um, those and G2s are my main go tos for pens. I don't, not huge. I do experiment with different types of pens, but now that I've found my favorites, I've been pretty locked in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just taking them out of the packaging so you can kind of get a glimpse at them all together. Um, but overall, you can see the shape is a little bit different, kind of similar. The paper light flares feel a little bit thinner to me and a, to me a little bit heavier. Um, have a little bit more weight, but you know, that just depends on your preference, how you hold your pen. Um, so pen test, what I did is I put them in color order <laughs> as close as possible. Um, so the Optimus close up, this is what it looks like. It's pretty sleek is how I would describe it. Um, but again, I'm, for me, it's about how they write. I tend to press pretty hard and use the nubs up. So that's my biggest problem no matter what pen I have. So I can't really say until I use them for the long term. So I will be doing a long term review down the road. Um, so go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in that. But let's just take a look at how these things write and look on paper. Um, this is the Optimus. So this is the black Really, they felt similar side by side to me, the Optimus and the Flare for the black. So that's awesome because black is the one that I use the most. And I don't know if there's a pack of just black for Optimus. I'd be curious. Um, now, the gray was one that I found was pretty different. Um, not necessarily in the color, although the Flare was a lot darker. But the Optimus just felt more... I don't want to say like watery, but thinner. Um, so it was lighter. So I kind of did like that in its own way. But if you want a darker pen, that might be something. But really kind of the Optimus might work pretty well for like secondary. So the Burnt Sienna, you can see the flare is a little bit more red. That one was kind of like a mauve to top, taupe, taupe, top. I never know. Um, flare, I think... That was more of the true brown for the flare, not really a comparable one for the Optimus. And so then we're getting into some maroony pinks here with Optimus and the flare. Really, I was really impressed with how bright the Optimus were. I did see in Cindy's video, um, you know, the colors really did pick up on camera. So if they're picking up on camera, and sometimes the colors are a little bit different. So even here in real life, there's a tad bit of a difference. Um, and I'll scoot this up so you guys can see, but the Optimus and then the Flare here, some of the pinks don't match. They're not like a perfect match, but seeing what they looked like based on during, or just based on like the cap or pen color too, can be a little bit different. It's hard to guess. Um, a lot of pinks. <laughs> if that's one thing that kind of stood out to me, a lot of pinks, which for grading... I don't know. I'll probably use those for more decorative type writing or color coding something. Kind of strange how many pinks were in a pack. I just, that was interesting. 
Um, I love the flare, like deep purples, and there is no really comparison in the Optimus. So that's one thing. If you do like those darker purple colors, um, there's a bright purple, and that one's a really close match. This periwinkle is another one that's kind of like the gray, where it's a little bit seeming thinner to get that lighter color. Um, so the flare stood out more on the paper. Of course, we have that gorgeous navy for flare, not one for Optimus. Um, blue for Optimus was pretty bright, like their royal blue. I liked the color. I felt like the flare, they were a little different colors, but the Optimus was a really pretty color. Um, and then I played around with the teals, tried to find one that matched, but the Optimus goes on a lot darker, I felt, than what it looked like. So sometimes they're a little different. A light, light blue from Optimus. The flare really doesn't have anything that light in this pack. So um, just comparing kind of the 24 set to the 24 set. <laughs> Here I wrote it as a flare and then it was the Optimus one, but the color you can see is so similar. I mean, the ink looks absolutely identical in the set I had, and then, <laughs> so I thought that was kind of interesting. Here we have this light teal aquamarine type color. Um, one of my favorite colors, actually, I love it. Reminds me of summer and the ocean. I did. I love Hawaii. If I'd ever did like a Hawaii group, that color would be in there for sure. Um, so we have this like light lime green, and I love how bright it is. And I liked how they wrote, you know, a little different with the flare there too. You can see similar. And I'll do close ups of these at the end so you can see these. More of a true green, a little darker. Yellow, I was impressed with. I could see it. I wouldn't use it for grading. Especially, you know, some students may be able to read that. The flare, I do feel like, is a little bit brighter, but honestly, it was pretty, pretty okay. Um, so it's like a salmon color from flare, but they do have an orange in both, like a more true orange. Um, my nub was a little bit weird in the pack that I got. It happens, but the flare one actually, um, there's like really, really vivid ink, but it kind of created an alt turn it like a double line. So the red, really comparative. I felt like the Optimus felt a little brighter. The flare felt deeper and that richer red, not like a dark red, but just like a, a richer. Um, so these were some light pinks that I came back and I did the flare over there and it was different. It was... You know, more of a bubblegum versus a poodle <laughs> type pink. And then here there is more pinks. <laughs> um, so that, you know, second Optimus almost matches with the flare on that side. Like the one on the bottom in that second row almost goes down with the flare a little bit. But they're still pretty different. And then the Optimus above. So this is what they all look like together. And then you can see what ones are in Optimus, which ones are in Flare. Um, those deep purples, deep blues, the salmon, you'd be missing if you got the Optimus pack but don't have the Flare pack. But I mean, if you're just using them for grading or something, I think there is plenty in here. Or even like if you're using them to color code and make a system, I mean, unless you have like really clear colors, but if you're just kind of like starting out and want to like test out felt tip, I liked the Optimus a lot, so um, shadowing, there's no bleed through, but shadowing, you can see there is some, and I have a white background, so it does bounce pretty true. But that's what it looks like for bleed through, and then push down on paper, because sometimes that's different depending on how the light goes through. Um, the purples or not blue there, but shadowing. Purple shadowed a little bit. The darker teal-y color from Optimus had quite a bit of shadowing. 
And then that, like, darker maroon from Optimus. That set. Um, and Flare as well. Flare for being kind of deeper colors at times. I was actually pretty surprised. But, um, I don't know. I'm excited. I'll probably buy Optimus definitely for teaching. And then just keep my flares maybe for more personal. But the gray and the periwinkle, those were the two that were pretty light. So just be on the lookout for that. So, um, go ahead. Feel free to subscribe. Like the video if you want. Um, and leave a comment for what your favorite type of pen is below. Thanks. Bye.